my name is Paula, if you guys don't know who I am. I'm starting my YouTube channel and this is my new journey. Please follow me. I'll be based on lifestyle, beauty, travel, everything I could possibly do. So please support me. Uh, follow me on YouTube, subscribe. And if you're interested in this look, please keep on watching. <laughs> already prepped a prime so let's get started the first thing I always do I spot treat the pigmentation that I have on my skin before I apply foundation normally on my basic um, everyday look I don't wear foundation I would just pop some concealer and go but um, today because I'm filming for you guys I will be applying some foundation Oh, and I'm using the Caramel Concealer Stick by Fenty Beauty. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's my first step. I'm just going to blend it in before I apply the foundation. This just really helps cover up your dark circles or pigmentation before applying foundation on so it doesn't peek through the foundation. I'll be using the NARS in the color of Syracuse, the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And I'm going to be mixing, I'll be mixing it with the Fenty Beauty in the shade 310, the Pro Filler Foundation. So I don't use too much, literally just one squirt, maybe two pumps. I'll be dropping a drop of that. And I'm just gonna mix it with my finger. It also gives me the perfect color for my skin. Even though the Fenty Beauty, the 310, is like the perfect shade, this just gives me like a luminous look because the Fenty Beauty foundation is kind of matte. So this kind of gives me a little bit of more hydration because I have combination skin. So my skin tends to dry out sometimes or become super oily out of nowhere, which I really hate, but I rather prefer that glowy, healthy look. I'm just gonna go in and blend everything out. The way I blend, I do like this kind of shape, like a, like a circle on my face. So I blend kind of upwards. That makes sense. I feel like it just helps spread the foundation more than just dabbing it. I'm looking for a new concealer right now, so I'm open to any suggestions. Just let me know. <laughs> Wait, I'm doing my steps wrong. Let me just, hold on. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Truffle. 
this is what it looks like so the way i like to contour i like to do this i feel like i can find my cheek my cheek hollows better My nose. I don't like to do my nose too much, but when I do, I like to snatch it. <laughs> and I like to do just right in the bottom of my lip. I know I have really tiny lips. But I love my lips. Not gonna change them at all. And I just like to give the illusion of like a little pout. So I like to contour just in the bottom of my lip here. Just even without contouring, you kind of tell. She already gives you the illusion of a pout. Going in with a Real Technique brush, I'm just gonna buff out my contour. So what I like to do is drag it down and just round out and just contour a little bit of the apple of my cheek. Did you guys hate when you text the wrong person? Oh, that's so embarrassing. Okay, so guys, for my nose, I'm going with the BH Cosmetics 127 brush. I'm just gonna contour my nose with this. It just helps to define the line even better because it's flat. <laughs> Normally for everyday um, makeup, I would stick to a concealer that's like my skin tone and just a little bit lighter, which would be the Caramel from Fenty Beauty, um, because I might be going out later just for like dinner, nothing special. I'm going to put on a lighter concealer and the Instant Age Rewind. By Maybelline is really good. I am the color medium Monet. It's actually a really good concealer. I've been using it for quite a long time now. I don't think I'll let it go anytime soon. But if you guys have any concealers to recommend, please let me know. Going in with my beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend 
this concealer. Just with the remaining concealer on my beauty blender, I like to just clean out the line. My contour line down here just gives me more definition. To set my concealer, I'm not going to bake. I'm not a fan of baking just because my under eyes tends, like my face just tends to dry and you could tell and I just don't like that. So, so what I like to do is just pat it on with this NYX no filter powder. It's a finishing powder, um, but I just like to press it on and then just wipe it. And this tends to work for me. So I just, around your smile lines, that's where you can, well, my concealer tends to crease and I really hate it. And then I like to go in with my MAC. My mineralized skin finish powder in the shade medium dark. Just powder my whole face. Lightly, I just, I love this powder. It's my literally holy grail for years now. Um, it's lightweight, it sets everything. It feels nice on your skin. It's like a silky finish to it. I love it. It's my favorite. For bronzing, I really like this NYX. Um, matte bronzer. This is in the shade Dark Tan. With a BH Cosmetic Brush in 108, I'm just gonna go in and contour, I guess bronze up my cheeks. I'm gonna bring down my bronze a little bit to my neck so it can just all look even. And with my nose, I'm going with this brush. It's also by EH Cosmetics. I'm not sure what number it is. Also, for my cheeks, I do love a blush. Where's my blush? I use the MAC. I know it's like almost done, but it's in the color Buff and it's a matte blush. And I love it, I'm obsessed with it. It's like the perfect blush well, for me. <laughs> So pretty. It's not too pink. You know, it's like the part, it's like maroonish. It's so pretty. I'm gonna use the same color for my bronzer. And I'm gonna put up, apply it for my transition color. With a smaller brush, I'm just gonna define my crease a little bit more. You can see the difference?
just gonna clean up my Stick in the color rum. I like to do this with my finger, so what I like to do is rub it. And then apply it on my eyelid. So what I like to do is go in with that smaller brush and my darker brown color, could be any color, and just blend the outer corner of your eye. See? Just blend the outer corner of your eye so it just looks all put together. The number six on the palette fire from NYX, which is this gold right here. I'm gonna use that. Okay guys, I'm back. I applied my eyelashes. Don't they look pretty? These are the style of Giselle number one by Huda Beauty. Uh, it took me quite a while to apply the lashes just because I haven't worn lashes in a very long time. I'm just gonna go back and tight line my inner waterline. I'm gonna go ahead and mascara the bottom. Oh, by the way, I did go ahead and match the top with the bottom. So, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and apply some mascara in my bottom lashes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlighter. I'm gonna use the same color from the matchstick from Fenty Beauty in rum. I'm just gonna use the same color just because I like it and it looks really pretty. What I like to do is rub my beauty blender against the matchstick, like so. And then just blend it into my higher cheekbone. I like to use a brush like this to apply my highlighter. I'm 
And I'm using this highlighter right here. The Highlight and Contour Pro Palette from NYX. I always think it helps when you put a cream concealer under and then blend it up with um, a powder concealer. The consistency just lasts longer. And it just gives it more of a pop. Guys, always make sure you use a little bit of Fix Plus or whatever spray you have just to set your makeup so that your makeup just stays on all day. It just sets it. Okay, so I just got this. This Huda Beauty contour set. It looks so pretty. I'm excited to use it. It comes with pencil lip contour and two colors. So it's a lighter color and a dark color from Correct. Um, it's just a contour pat like kit. So let's try this out. I haven't tried it yet. I'm like so excited. Okay. I have small lips, so bear with me. I like to round out the tip or the top where my cupid's bow is. Just to give it more of a pouty look. I'm gonna add a little bit of lip therapy just because this is a matte liquid lip stain lipstick. This is the second part. This color is called Bombshell. Um, and this is just the contour color, so it brightens up just the middle of your lip. I would just apply it right there. coconut smell to it. It smells like like a piña colada. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. I kind of want a piña colada now. Hold on. Hold on. Let me add a little bit more of a highlight on my Cupid's bow. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video and supporting me in this journey. I appreciate all of you guys so much. Just please don't forget to subscribe and like to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs>
meine Bilbe. Please follow you.